dead. Welcome to Full Scale X4 Privacy and Security with RoboLinux GNOME, KDE, XFCE, and LXDE versions 7.8.2. This is definitely our best upgrade ever. Our highly valued RoboLinux users asked us for proactive maximum privacy and security, so guess what? We delivered again. Number one, anonymous encrypted browsing, and that's not all. Wait till you see it. Number two, encrypted password vault. Number three, ultra secure IPv6 firewall, very easy to use. Number four, maximum antivirus protection. You'd think you probably don't need that for Linux. Actually, it's more for the Windows files that you're downloading, and eventually there will be Linux viruses attacking. So better to be ready now. Better to be safe than sorry. As you know, cybersecurity and privacy has turned into warfare. In fact, it's global warfare. But don't worry because RoboLinux has the firepower to protect your PC or laptop right here and right now. That's because we really care about our users. My name is John Martinson and I'm the founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo. Everyone else does. Today I'm going to show you the arsenal of powerful privacy and security apps built right into all four versions of RoboLinux 7.8.2 that you can download and install and run with ease for free. Actually, we have eight operating systems when you count the 32 and 64-bit versions. As you can see, I'm running RoboLinux 64 XFCE, but in this video, I will briefly and quickly show you our GNOME, KDE, and LXDE versions as well. It's going to be a short video, so let's get started. First, I'm going to show you that the ultra-secure IPv6 modern firewall comes installed by default, and it's turned on and protecting you right out of the box. So you simply click on it by going down here to your main menu, go to System, up to Firewall Configuration. You're going to have to click the Unlock button and type in your password in order to configure it. You can set it any way you want to and keep RoboLinux locked down from incoming IP traffic threats. This is incredibly configurable. John Doe Anonymous Encrypted Browsing can be installed in just one click in seconds by going to the Installers menu right here, Main Menu, go up to Installers, and click on John Doe for Secure Anonymous Web Browsing. Now I've already got mine installed, so I can show you. It only takes a few seconds to do this. Why did we put it in the installers? Well, because we can't have, you know, a five or six gigabyte uh, ISO. So we just have to have one click installers. I'm sure you can understand. So after it's installed, you load it from internet options over here. Okay, you can see it right there. John Doe Fox. Now this one works only with Firefox. People, this is industrial strength privacy. Believe me, wait till you see this. Google Chrome Anonymous Browsing doesn't even scratch the surface. Look at this. When I click on Firefox, I've got the option of taking a default Firefox or a John Doe Fox. Okay, now if I pick John Doe Fox, I have, and I am not kidding, a plethora of opportunity here in terms of privacy options. Like, for example, I can install it with Tor. I can set up a proxy server with it. I can do so many. Look at this, Tor. I mean, you can customize it. It just goes on and on. It's just an amazing thing. Wait till you see some of this stuff here. You can, you can get a, like, sort of a temporary email provider. Um, here's a cool one, Crypto Heaven. 
Neo Mailbox, Postio.de, that's from Germany, that's only actually for Germans, um, Mailbox.org. I mean, it, it's just, I mean, you'll spend, you know, have fun. I mean, this is, this is really, you know, the cat's meow when it comes to privacy and uh, surfing the web. Now, if you use their VPN or ours, you're just a ghost on the internet that no one can find. That's because VPNs mix thousands, I mean, really, possibly even hundreds of thousands, maybe even a million users, IP traffic all together in, in one, you know, giant stream of packets across one IP address. If you don't have a VPN, get one. It's really worth it. Ours is only three bucks a month or 40 a year. And get this, this is amazing. You can use one account for your phone, tablet, TV, PC, laptop, your wife's iPhone, your kid's tablet, you know, whatever. I mean, it doesn't make any difference how many devices that you have in your house. I mean, if your refrigerator uses the internet, okay, fine. All right, so you get the idea. It's the best deal ever. Encrypted Password Vault. The name of the program is KeyPass2, and it can be installed in just one click in seconds again just by hitting the menu and going up to installers and here you just click on key pass version 2. This is the world's best fully encrypted password manager. What it does is instead of saving your passwords in a browser like Google which makes them not 100 percent private, instead you save them in key pass 2 which encrypts them for you. The best part is you never have to remember them Believe me, that is extremely helpful. How many passwords do you have? My answer to that question is far too many. Is that your answer too? What makes this the best password manager in the world is that you can use KeePass on literally every platform on the planet, syncing every device you own automatically. Windows, Mac OS X, Linux of course, Android phones and tablets, and Apple iOS phones and tablets. Plus, you can move your key past any machine you want to in seconds if you buy a new PC or laptop. Or if you if you like the distro hop, like you know lots of people do, this is very handy indeed. So let's take a look at it. I've got it installed. To get to it, we have to go up here into accessories. People, this is a gem. The tools here are very, very simple to use. You can generate passwords. It's got database tools. It's got triggers and plugins and options. But listen to this. Don't, don't, don't let this intimidate you. They've got so much incredible online help and tutorials. You don't have to worry. You'll learn how to use this. For example, watch this. If I just click over here, I can go to their website right away and I can get all kinds of help and you know learn more and more and more about it. And lastly let me show you our maximum antivirus protection app called ClamAV. Actually this is ClamTK which provides you with a very nice GUI so you can operate it without using a terminal like us geeks prefer to do. You know ClamAV is installed on I would have to say hundreds of millions of servers worldwide. It is the most popular, um, which makes it really an awesome package because it, they update the signatures so, so frequently. Um, and the research is just wonderful. Um, a lot of power behind the Clam AV. What I love about Clam TK is that it updates itself daily without you doing a thing, and it uses zero RAM unless you run a scan. The reason you need this is because, as you know, Linux is getting very popular and eventually the bad people are going to be coming at you. Right now everything's pretty good. Um, if you do the research you'll find there's a few hundred um, black hat, you know, malware, you know, programs or whatever, you know, apps that are floating around, but uh, I haven't found one in years, but they're on their way, believe me. But you know something? For the the real reason that you need this is to find out if you have downloaded any Windows malware. Okay, this does happen. Okay, and you don't know it because you're running Linux and it doesn't affect you, and you're downloading it into a Linux partition. It doesn't hurt you. You don't see it. But 
you know what, what would happen if you sent an email with a file attachment and sent a virus uh, or you know some spyware to a buddy that wouldn't be a good thing so this really is a necessary app to have in Linux okay really easy to install go to the menu go to installers go up to clam antivirus toolkit for Unix and Linux click it in a few minutes um, it will install it does take a little while to bring down the two point Wait a minute, is it 22 million? It's a huge number of uh, signatures, but um, it doesn't take up a lot of disk space. Um, but once you get that, what's lovely is it just automatically updates and it only adds uh, the additional signatures. Uh, so you can't even detect it and it really doesn't, you can't even feel that it's it's happening on your, on your desktop. So from your main menu, what you do there to load it is um, you go up here to accessories and you just click on, click on Clam TK, and there it is. And it's a lovely little app, um, very tiny um, in terms of screen space, but very powerful. I mean, it's got it's got a scheduler. Um, you've got a wizard, a setup wizard. Um, you can submit a file for analysis. That's pretty cool. So if you see something you're not sure about, you can submit it to Clam AV, and they'll check it out. Um, you've got uh, managing histories, you know, when did you last scan, you know, clear the output, you know, you can scan a file, a directory, recursive scan, a quick home scan, that's your home user directory, um, and you can do, um, you know, a very detailed one, even looking at dot files and so on. You can scan devices like before you use a USB stick, that kind of thing. This is really a wonderful piece of software, folks. Now. You're going to note that your GUI version is outdated, but that's because uh, Debian stable is um, is not compatible with the next version. But don't you worry about that. It's not going to make a difference. Um, you can see here that it check marked uh, that the antivirus definitions are current. Okay, and my antivirus engine uh, version, so I'm up to date. And here's our GNOME version. And I'm going to just show you very quickly. It just operates the same as um, the menu structure is the same. Go to the main menu, except this one's at the top. Of course, you could put it at the bottom if you prefer. You go to your main menu, and you simply go down to Installers. Here you've got your Clam Antivirus, which is Clam TK, the GUI. And you have your John Doe. You just click once, and it installs them. KeyPass uh, version 2. And... Uh, as I said, the firewall is automatically, uh, it's already installed and you're already protected. Um, you just simply go over to your system tools and administration and click on firewall configuration. And I've already shown you a little bit about this. Um, it's very easy to use. Here's our KDE version. Boy, I love this. This is just a wonderful, um, exciting uh, Linux operating system. But anyway, so I was going to show you around real quickly. Um, from the main menu, um, just go to Apps, go on up to Installers, and what you'll find there is the installers for Clam TK, um, John Doe, um, KeyPass, and then if you were to go to System, as I said earlier, we automatically install the firewall, and so you'd have your firewall. Uh, so there you have the KDE version. Um, operating just like all of our versions. LXDE, the need for speed. That's our name for this one. I didn't mention the names of the others, um, but you can look them up on our website. Uh, just go to the main menu, go on up to installers. You can install your Clam AV, which is your Clam TK. Um, and you've got John Doe again and KeyPass version 2 and this version is slightly different you don't actually go to system tools to find the firewall you have to go to preferences and go up here and click there like that here's something interesting did you know that if every person donates just one dollar who downloads and uses any of the GNOME XFC KDE or LXD Robo Linux operating systems, then the Robo Linux Charity Foundation, run by me here in Cambodia, could put a thousand very poor children in a Christian school to really improve their lives and make a difference in the world. 
How awesome would that be? We can't make this happen without your kind support. You can read about our charity foundation on our About webpage right here. Please note that we provide audited monthly reports so you can be certain that this is 100% legitimate charity. So like for example, you'd go down here and click on this monthly report. And what's really neat is we're about to put a new, a new child into school. Um, we've got, let's see, we've, we've got a we've got now we're over six hundred dollars and we need six hundred and thirty four per child um, so I want to thank you for your time watching this RoboLinux video I hope you have a great day and may God bless you and your family